Once upon a time, there was a homeless man, and he was trying to gather food. He keeps noticing every day his food would disappear. One day, he caught the mouse that kept stealing his food. Oh, you mouse! Why are you stealing my food? I'm a homeless man. Go steal from the richer people. They won't even notice it. But it's my destiny to steal from you. What? Why? Because it is in your destiny that you can only have eight items in your possession. No matter how much you beg, no matter how much you gather, that's all you'll be able to have. The homeless man was shocked and heartbroken as well. Who would want to have such hard luck? <gasps> Why is that my destiny? I don't know that. You should try and ask the Buddha. Maybe he'll know. So the homeless man begins his journey to find Buddha. He travels the whole day, and at dusk he finds himself in a wealthy family's estate. Tired and sleepy, he decides to spend the night there. So he goes to knock on their door. Good sir, it's getting dark and I'm new here. Can I spend the night here please? Uh, okay, come on in. As the beggar enters the house, the man asks, Young man, why and where are you traveling so late? Oh, I have a question for the Buddha and I'm going to meet him. Just then, the rich man's wife arrives hearing this. Can we give you a question to ask the Buddha? Oh, okay. I guess I can uh, ask on your behalf. What's your question, ma'am? Oh, we have a 16-year-old daughter who can't speak. We just want to ask what do we have to do to have her speak? So the next morning, the homeless man thanks them for shelter and assures them that he would ask their question to Buddha. Farewell! And he continues his journey and sees a sea of mountains that he has to cross. Oh, Lord! How do I cross this now? He climbs up one mountain and he meets a wizard. Dear sir, can you help me cross this? Hop on! Beggar hops on the wizard's staff and sits behind the wizard. The wizard uses his staff to take the young man and himself and flies them across the sea of mountains. As they fly above the sea of mountains, the wizard asks the young man, Where are you going? Why are you deciding to cross these mountains? I am going to meet and ask the Buddha a question about my destiny. Oh, really? Can I please give you a question to ask the Buddha? I've been trying to go to heaven for a thousand years according to my teaching. I should be able to go to heaven now. Can you please ask the Buddha what do I have to do to get to heaven? Of course, I'll ask your question for you. As he continues on his journey, he runs into his last obstacle, which is a river that he cannot cross. Oh boy, now how do I cross this wild deep river? Luckily, he meets a giant turtle who decides to take him across the river. As they're crossing the river, the turtle asks, Where are you going? I'm going to see the Buddha and I'm going to ask him a question about my destiny. Would you please ask a question for me? Sure, what is it? I've been trying to become a dragon for 500 years. According to my teaching, I should have become a dragon by now. Can you please ask the Buddha, what do I have to do? to become a dragon. Thank you, dear turtle, for taking me across the river. You are welcome. And don't forget my question. Of course not. I'll ask your question for you. 
the homeless man continues his journey to seek Buddha, and he finally reaches where he resides. The beggar stands in front of the monastery and takes a deep breath. Oh, here I am, finally meeting the great Buddha. So the homeless man walked in, spirited and excited, ready to ask his and the other's questions. And as he enters, and he bows in front of the Buddha, Please accept my good wishes, Buddha. I have traveled from far away lands to ask you some questions. Can I, please? Sure you can, but I will answer three questions for you. Only three questions. The young man was shocked. He had four questions. But I have four. What do I do? So he thinks carefully. He thinks about the turtle. The turtle has been living for 500 years trying to become a dragon. Poor thing. What a hard life he must be leading in that deep river. Then he thinks about the wizard, who has been living for 1,000 years trying to get to heaven. Oh, 1,000 years is a long time. He deserves to go to heaven now. At last, he thought about the young girl who is going to live her whole life being unable to speak. Oh, life without speaking is cruel. And then he looked at himself. I'm just a homeless beggar. I can just go back home and continue begging. I am used to it. Nothing will change. But for them, everything can change if they get the answers. So, as he looked at everybody else's problems, his problem suddenly seemed so small. He felt sorry for the turtle, the wizard, and the young girl. And so he decided to ask all their questions. And Buddha, as expected, answered. The turtle is unwilling to leave the shell. As long as he is unwilling to leave the comfort of his shell, he will never become a dragon. Oh, who would have thought? The wizard always carries his staff and never puts it down. It acts as an anchor, keeping him from heaven. Oh, I will tell him that. And what about the girl? As for the girl, she'll be able to speak when she meets her soulmate. Thank you, O oh great Buddha. Buddha looked at him and smiled. The homeless man bowed to the Buddha and went on a journey back home. He reunites with the turtle. Did you ask? Oh, yes. You just have to take off your shell and then you become a dragon. The turtle then takes off his shell and inside the shell were priceless pearls found in the deepest parts of the ocean and he gives them to the homeless man. Here, you have them. It's my thank you. I no longer need this because I'm now a dragon. Thank you, kind man. And he flies away. The homeless man reunites with the wizard on top of a mountain. You just have to put down your staff and you'll be able to go to heaven. Really? That's what Buddha said. So the wizard let go of his staff by giving it to the young man and says thank you, and then ascends to heaven. Very well, young man. Be good. The young man now has wealth from the turtle and power from the wizard. He goes back to the family that gave him shelter. They were very happy to see him back and expected an answer. The great Buddha said your daughter would be able to speak when she meets her soulmate. And at that moment, the daughter came downstairs and spoke. Hey, is that the man that was here last week? The young girl and her parents were shocked. They looked at the homeless man. 
He was the girl's soulmate. The parents fixed their wedding and they lived happily ever after. So remember, friends, all the good you do in the world will come back to you. <laughs>